So Brian Harson won't let players redshirt. What's going on here? Okay. So there's stuff that, that started to come out yesterday. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Zach Blackerby. Does a really good job covering Auburn. Apparently, what is what is happening? And again, this, this is not church. This is not 100. I, I know this for a fact, but I do know that you have Auburn team captains, guys like John Samuel Shanker, who's been a huge defender of Brian Harson through the whole uh, you know uh, booster situation, and he's our guy. Whatever, like in tweets saying that Brian Harson is not allowing players who want to sit out because they have the ability to redshirt and save a year to redshirt. Coming off the cuff, that sounds terrible, okay? Number one, he isn't the only one that's done this. Not even now, but in the past. This has happened all the time. There is nuance to this as well. This isn't some broad brush generaliz uh, generalization thing. There's nuance here as well. There's a big difference between a kid that has played two or three snaps all year and you are not using that says, coach, I'm not playing. We're in week nine. I'd like to be able to, to save a year because I don't want to waste a year. I'm not contributing to the team. I would like to have a red shirt year. That's one thing. It's another thing if you're a starter and you basically try and opt out or maybe you're somebody that is, because there's a certain percentage of snaps that you can play and still red shirts, like 30 something, somewhere yeah. along that. If you're a, a contributor who may have gotten hurt Something has kept you from playing, but they're waiting on you to get back. Maybe you played early in the year, got hurt, and then you came back and you said, Coach, you know, uh, we're not going to win anything this year. I want to go ahead and opt out and redshirt. That, I, and the coach says, no, I can understand that as a coach. I can understand that. Because, hey, man, my livelihood is to go out here and win. We got to have you to win. All right, but if you're telling kids that are not playing, that are saying, Coach, I want to redshirt, and I, you know, I may transfer if something happens, I don't know. If you're telling them they, they can't redshirt, then that's a problem. Then shame on you. Then, then, then you're starting. Then you're messing with somebody's livelihood. But in that same vein, if you're somebody that's playing, or somebody who they're expecting to play, or, or somebody who's been beat up and's coming back, and you're saying, "No, nope, doesn't matter. I don't want to play. Uh, I'm going to transfer anyway." I can understand a coach being like, "No, no, you contributed to the team." But this is just another thing that has been brought to the attention of the media that put that puts Auburn in a bad light. And it's not all Brian Harson's fault. We all know this started last year. You just, and I know you're waiting on an AD. You just need to fire the guy. Just fire the guy. Just fire him. Just fire him right now. Because the longer you wait, the closer you get to that early signing period. Okay? That in December, which is the new signing period. The, the late signing period, the one in February, is, is for guys who don't qualify or five stars who are good enough to wait it out. And that, that doesn't work for everybody. Most kids are just trying to get a spot at these big places. But the longer you keep Brian Harson. All right, you're going to have to rip that Band-Aid off at some point. And December's when it comes. Are you willing to just throw away that, that early signing period, the new signing period, because you kept them until you got an AD? And I know you're not going to be able to recruit without a head coach. It all comes down to hiring an AD and then a head coach. But Auburn needs to hurry this thing up a little bit. And I'm not saying you go out and make a rash decision. We're watching what happens when you make a rash decision right now. You've been talking to these ADs for a while. You need to go hire one, okay? You need to go hire. There's guys that want the job. Go hire one. Stop dragging your feet. Let him pick the head coach so they're linked together so we don't have this problem again. But it's just another thing coming out of Auburn that is toxic. But there's nuance to the situation. I don't think this is a, you know, Brian Harson's a terrible person deal, and it's not a these players are terrible per people type deal. It's the circumstance of each player, how they're contributing to the team, where they're at, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, whatever. So we have to be able to, to see the beach through the forest a little bit here. Lane, what else did you see on this? Well, I, I'm just, why are we still talking about Brian Harson? Like, why is he still I'm, coaching at all? I, this is like, the, I, I just I'm don't understand you. it. Why are we not talking about Hugh Freeze or Prime? <laughs> or Prime. Why are we honest? not? I mean, What's first of all, that jacket was fire in that first picture. That jacket was extremely fire. But it's just another thing to add on to this. Uh, this Auburn program is just slowly circling the drain, and they're letting it happen. So, I mean, do I feel bad? No. I mean, if you really want to fix it, I mean, you can give me a call. We can talk a contract. We can really put some 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 pin to the paper and figure it out. But, I mean, you're not playing good on the field, and this is only hurting recruiting. So, right now, Auburn's in a bad spot. Yeah, and Liberty just slapped around BYU. They're right. No, Hugh Freeze made, made some mistakes. Hugh Freeze made some mistakes. Never <laughs> banish him. Exile him. It's like that movie, The Man in the Iron Mask. Somebody cut this thing off. Get this dude over here. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed that content. Make sure you subscribe. Turn that notification bell on so you know every time that we're going live or we're dropping content. The only place that can bring you back to sports if you left. So come on home.